Well, all this stuff and more goes back in my little Class B RV for our coming trip. How do I put all this stuff in there, such a cramped space, and organize it so I can find it when I need it? Well, hang in there and find out. Well, after I got my brand new flooring put in my RV, which was my very, very last upgrade on my master plan from the four year plan, well, I unloaded everything, put them in bins like the blue one behind me, had them in boxes just to get them out and have some place to put them. Well, now I've got them spread out. I've gone through them, organized them, categorized them, decided what they are, you know, food, food preparation, canned foods, toiletry, personal gear, uh, cooking gear, just whatever it takes, you know? So now I've all got it pictured and organized. And when I can visually see it, it's easy for me to visualize how I'm going to put it in the RV and how I'm going to pack it. It's just something that I've had all my life. I could look at something and see the picture of it in my mind completed and know what my goal was. So what this video is going to involve is where and how, if possible, can I get all this stuff back in my 19 foot RV for our upcoming trip? Well, we're going to find out together. Okay. But first, I got to start putting this in the RV. So let's do that. Well, it's been several days since I started packing everything you saw into my little RV. It was a job, that's for sure. Give and take, move here, move there. It took me, oh, probably a, a week of packing off and on, getting things to fit. I did have to take out some of that that I had duplicates of, some I had triplicates of, that I didn't really need for the road. But I got it done, it's organized, we're ready to go, so let's take a look. Well, you can see again, we're back in my abode. Uh, you'll have to forgive me for the uh, reflectics I have on all the windows here. We're having high heat in the upper 80s, up to 90, and this helps a great deal keeping this little rig cool, rather than being like a tin can in the oven. So, what have I done since last we met? Well, as you can see, I've gotten some utensils put up here. I got little uh, teacup hooks put up here and I hang up the ones I use the most when I'm cooking so they're readily available. Here I got a little velcro plastic bin that I have my majority of spices I use the most. I have here a little clamp on gadget that I put my camp suds I use for backpacking and camping and also a sponge to do the dishes. And I have my mug up here. I don't keep that up there because if that falls, it will make a mess. These others are plastic and um, silicon. Don't worry about it. I have a little cutting board here on top of a rubber dry mat, which protects the glass on my little stove. And I've got a uh, paper towel rack here. Very simple, cheap thing I just got. And I put a little Velcro strap around it to keep the paper towel from flying off in the wind when the main side door here is open. So let's look around and I'll show you how I've managed to pack everything you saw in the garage, except for very few items into this. And 
I'll tell you right now that a lot of people are going to say, why in the heck did you take so much food? Well, if you haven't gone grocery shopping lately, then you're out of touch with what food costs now in this inflationary world. So I decided to take what I could out of my cupboards back at my old house and eat that first. Save myself some money on the road by eating what I already paid for and brought from home. Common sense. So, let me show you around. Okay, first thing you'll notice is my couch is down in the bed position. This is how I'm going to travel on this trip because I'm just tired of putting things up and down, up and down, when having it down all together is the simplest way. I've got some extra pillows I brought with me, and I've got those around the edges that I can put between them and my back, prop me up to watch TV or listen to the radio, or just lay out flat anytime I want. I'll show you what I did here. What I did here is I took out the board that goes across here where the two separate sections fit on there to extend it to a full queen. That way I can walk in between that gap and get to all my other upper bends. Plus, I can sit here and I got a smaller working table that I can simply pull out and about and sit there and work on and still be able to get around it. I found I didn't need that huge table I'd made earlier for long trips. It was just a bother. I was usually carrying it up in the what I call attic which is up there my overhead cab wire bin I installed as one of the first improvements to this rig and that just didn't make sense when I hardly used it. So in this position with the couch down into the bed position I'll pull this down and I can sit at my work desk Pull up the pillows behind my back for nice comfortable support. I've got a USB regular plug-in down below and I can sit here and work on my computer and look out the windows. I can have the side door open with the dogs on their 15 foot leads. I can go in and out and I can enjoy both worlds. And the best part I think of having the bed down to the position it is, is, let me push this back, that under that full-size bed, I have an enormous amount of storage. I've got a cooler there, and I've got six fold-up bins I got at the dollar store that hold a variety of food and drink. And as I eat those up, I'll just have more and more room on the trip. And I can recycle, I can take the drinks and that from there and put into my fridge here. So that's worked out really well. Now, I got tired of trying to, to divide everything in the drawers here. So I have one or two main divisions, a group of all my silverware in one, and other items there. And then otherwise, it's I guess you could call it a junk drawer, but it's so much easier to get everything when you don't have things segregated just to fit. And I also added these push-button locks, which have been exceptional compared to the other things I've tried. And then down below here, I've got a shelf and I've got my Instapot, my induction stove top, and all the gear I need there. And let me turn around here. These are cramped quarters. 
I've got my coffee maker and all my coffee supplies. And here I've got more food and dog food, canned dog food in the back. So that's the best I could do organizing those small drawers. This is the 2008 Pleasure Way set. It is cramped, so you learn to make the most of everything. All right, let's see. Up here, cabinet A, I have all my stores for breakfast and some for lunch. Cabinet B, I have more cookware, some small appliances, and preparation for cooking. Up here in the back is going to be uh, three large bins of clothes and smaller zip mesh bags and smaller bins of items. Up here is my entertainment center with my books, music, and tapes. Now this narrow little thing was my clothes closet. At first I turned it into my linen closet where I put all my clothes, but that didn't work out very well. That became a hassle. So I decided I'm going to make it into my pantry with all my cookware that I use on a pretty much daily basis fits right in here. I've got blenders, uh, toaster, cooking pans, cooking bowls, uh, several mini dash cooking uh, appliances so I can make a multitude of food and I like that because it's pretty much portion sized so you're not overeating on the road. And the, to mention that, I have lost on my over two week fast so far, 20 pounds. I've got about 10 pounds to get to my goal of 162. And I just might make it before I end this fast at the end of the month. So let's see. Ah. Up here is my overhead cab storage. I've got a, a large folded blanket in the back and other bins that have still more food and dog gear, dog toys, uh, miscellaneous. I went and got a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it, this is a rubber bath mat. Well, actually it's a rubber mat you'd put down where you stand on the kitchen in front of your uh, sink, put that up there. And what that does is that quiets any jiggling, that quiets any noise that the items I put up there might make vibrating against this wire rack here. And of course this wire here is for my pull it across shade here. Now a lot of people have these things where they gotta take it down, set it up, and I, I hate hassling with stuff. I want to make things as simple as possible. So I got a wire, put it in, got some miniature uh, carabiners from the uh, Big Five store. And I got an old curtain from the living room, shortened it, punched in some grommets, and made my own. This way, if I have to jump out of the seat, and when I pull off and rush to the bathroom, I just whisk this back, and nobody can look in as they walk past me in the front. And of course, to not forget the garage, or what people commonly call the garage, the rear storage in my little camper van. Back here on the left, we have the large compartment of batteries and my shore cord. And we have my very nice relaxing camping chair and then up here is my pop-up shower unit which i'm going to try out on this trip 
I'll simply set that thing up next to my outside shower uh, bin, which is on the side of the van. And I also have my surge protector, my sewer items, my fresh water items, some extra oil, and uh, just miscellaneous items to get me out of trouble if I ever find myself in some. So, other than that, I think uh, we've covered it all. So, anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. We are raring to go. I can't wait to start this new journey, which for me, I believe is going to be life-changing. And it just fills me with excitement. This new weight I'm at, how my body feels, how my mind feels. It's just been um, like a rebirth of to when I was in my better days. And I just can't wait to hit the road feeling this good. And the girls too are excited. They're feeling well. Even though they're 13, you'd never know it. However, they do tire faster than they used to. But still, they've got spunk. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. And like the girls and I always say, we wish you happy trails and woof woof.